And welcome, here we are. Cool. So, we're uh, here on the community server. And I actually have two individuals with me. We've got Jake Nova and Carter. Hello. So, hmm. Today, we're going to have some fun. We are going to try wax loop of legendary weapons and equipment and see how well we do. Uh, I am only level 29, almost 30. Uh, these two here have actually made it to 60, so it shouldn't have too much of a, an issue running it. But we're going to see what we get. I got Carter over there getting some meat uh, ready for travels. He did hand me off a... A snack from uh, Yog, so I've got favor of Yog running. And if everything is looking good, yep, there we go. And we'll make sure we're all stuck. Yeah, everything's looking good. All right. Right on. One second. I go hit a button over here. Let some other people know that we're having some fun tonight. All right, so I didn't, didn't do too much since last week. Uh, I just built up my little cube here a little bit more. Do a little rearranging inside. And I set my pickup point over here. I'm going to build some stairs here and then build up onto this ledge here so we get a little more room. Oop. <laughs> Otherwise, so let's take a look at our map. So we are going to run into the unnamed city. Uh, let's see. Wax starts up here. We're going to just run in from down here. So we'll start our run from this corner and uh, work our way around. I think we're going to zigzag a little. We're going to go this way and then over that way. That way we hit the dragon last. All right. Ready for the unnamed city. I can't type name named city. <clears throat> that way Carter knows. So I'm still running with mostly items I've found except for the heavy pauldron and the heavy tacit. I was able to create those. Yeah, we're going to run this sword down to nothing. <clears throat> and yes, uh, this is a based out of video that Wack put out a few days ago. Uh, he did a legendary weapon run and just kind of showed everything off. And I figured, well, let's go try that and see what we can get because we do need some weapons. And he took the Neebs and their crew through yeah i saw that video it was so hilarious they're trying to attack the uh the guy who just stands there and does nothing yeah the war maker i saw that too yeah wax like yeah you should go go fight him go fight him <laughs> well let's see yeah we're still running straight ahead <clears throat> all right There is a scorpion over here that I wouldn't dare tangle with at level 30. Oh, yeah. Too much poison. <laughs> I think they took away his chest. Yeah, they did. I want to call on a pantheon when we do oh. the fortress. What, he wants to bring he a, about? I think he wants to bring a god in and attack the fortress. I tried that one time. This place, uh, 50 and I did. I don't know if you were there. Oh, I don't think Ow. so. We, um... Level 30. 
go ahead and do our attributes. Yeah, we uh, brought up one of the gods and we tried to go into, um, uh, let's see, Camel Master. Tried to go into the, the den. It wouldn't fit. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't get around any of the stuff that was blocking it. Hey, Nodra, how you doing over on Twitch? Thanks for joining us. We are on the community server and just kind of running around. I'm not exactly sure where everybody ran off to, but... We're still at your house. No. Oh, okay, they're gonna have to ride the horses and meet up with me. Closer to, let's see. Close to the drags? Uh, D5, yeah, that area. Yeah, I'm hoping today will be a fun run. Um, I am running the loop that WAC uh, recommended for getting some legendary weapons and equipment. He ran it with Neebs a little while ago, or the Neebs crew. I think I'm gonna jump off here and head over to the other side. Whoa, not there. Maybe here. Go ahead and drink a little bit of water while we're there. Who's coming? Now nah, they gave up. So I'm over by the cave where you can get magic. The strange part is, is I don't even know about the cave, even though I've been in there. <laughs> yeah, I'll, run, I'll just run around here. I'll run into a few hyenas along the way. So a link to our Discord is in the about and in the description uh, on YouTube. So at both of those. I have a few updates to make on my software so that it will properly post messages like I want it to. Um, oops, that was a little one. I need every bit of experience. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. Yeah, I'm running through the hyenas south of the name city right now, so I'll be there in a moment. The hyena didn't want to walk toward me. Okay. <laughs> so the idea with this run is to hit each of the each of the specific locations and fight each of the bosses that you need to in order to get to their chests or pick it off of them as it be. okay it's been 10 minutes since we started that was leftover audio Here we go. So I do have the chat run in here because Carter or Sitosh does not have a mic, so. All right, first location I am going to hit. I'm gonna run actually past the dragon over here because it doesn't really help us, so. In fact, I'm going to go get a 
part of a hero, I believe it is, up here. This way, when we get to the dragon, we can remove our corruption. I'm doing a little bit of hit points, but that guy's got quite a bit. Do the war paint buffs still work, or are they, uh... No, they get rid of those a while ago. Disabled again. I just find it weird that they put them in chest everywhere now. Oh, stop hitting me. Ooh, ooh. Their combos work out pretty well for them. Just this above you. Comes. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> you still alive? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, now we got the hard part. I, I won't interfere. I'll let you gain all the experience. Oh, sure. <laughs> you can get the little one all you want. Oh, boy. Maybe take care of this one. Put the big one go. Didn't want to come down. Hey. <laughs> I could end with one hit. Yep. He came down. Yeah. Go Yay. Still wow, fifteen thousand experience. That's good experience. So Legion gauntlets. We'll take the concentrated aloe. Here's the heart of the hero that we're looking for. She has katana on her if you want it. Was it what kind of damage is it? Only 19 health damage? Ugh. For what is it? She has a katana. Oh. Yeah, I'm running 30 on these uh well, the, the flakatas here. Yeah, those are much better anyways. So yeah, I've got a heart of the hero which will remove our corruption when we get to that point. Silent Legion armor compared to my light gauntlets. A lot of armor. There's uh, still a relic hunter treasure seeker sitting over there. All right, I'm gonna run heavyweight, but uh, let's try not to gather the corruption here. Oh, really? Really? Come on. Come over here. Oh, attack my dude. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. He turned he turned his attention. I was like, wait a minute. All of a sudden just like ah, forget him. I'll talk that guy. Oh. Yep, how much? Oh, and if we run back this way we can grab a chest. There's a book here. Oh, there's a book there? Yeah, alright. Yeah. And what about that treasure chest? Did you hit that treasure Relic chest? Relic Hunter journal. Yeah. Grab that chest. Uh, yep. Lots of money. All money. 
Money, 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 money. I'll take money. Oh, okay. There, right, got her. Hey, Daniel, how you doing? Good to see you here. So we are running on Twitch and on YouTube just to get out to everybody a little bit here. So what we're doing today is we're running the Whack Legendary Loop. Looking for anything legendary here. So we've got a dragon down there. We do not have to fight the dragon. It doesn't give you anything, not even a key. However, we do have a little dragon over here, and I think we're going to fight that one because we can get the experience. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess to me that when you uh, kill these dragons and you chop them up, you get just straight leather. It's not even hide, it's just straight leather. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that still a bonus? Hmm, I'm not sure. Are you talking with yeah. like a sling knife or? Oh. Even if you just hatch it, use a hatchet. Uh. I'm actually handling this guy pretty well. I always like to go for these baby dragons pretty early game. Because it can get the hide off. Regular hide. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I got leather. Yeah, it just gets regular, regular gets, leather. It's not right. even hide. You don't have to throw it into a tannery. Right. And then you got the exotic flesh and dragon bone, all you need. Yep. Yeah. I probably yeah. won't be able to carry it all. <laughs> I mean, if you have to, you can stick some of it in my uh, Heath Plains Walker. Yeah, I might, tra I might trade it off to you. I usually collect a lot of that early game, the dragon moon and stuff, and then I go get the uh, void dragon armor, because that's really good armor. So the first the weapons. Stop... <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Dragon bone, dragon bone armor and weapons. Yeah, I do like those. Uh, they're the out weapons quite a bit. Uh, so where we're heading right now is actually going to head over to... Finding this guy. There he is, way out there. Let's see who we can get by here. I am only level 30. Actually, I've almost leveled one full level. Oh, I ran into a couple Scotlands. Wow, he got really screen. Whoa! Oh, get me off of that. Oh, jeez, I caught a bunch of guys over here. Let's try to get away from something. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Whoa! He swung early. Well, that's not even the big guy. Oh, wait, that is the big guy. Wait, no, that was not the big guy. He might be wand wandering around. Here comes a couple guys. <laughs> that I feel like I want to play. I kind of thought I wanted to play this one today. Uh, I got 20 minutes on the timer. And then uh, on Sundays, we'll be streaming Our Adventures with Angel. We're actually on Sipta. I haven't done that in a little bit because I have been so busy. There's the guy we're looking for. He wanders. Hey. 
When he drops you something good. Wait, is this not the guy? No, that's him. No, that's him. That's him. He's got the horn with the helmet. Get over here. Whoa. Big sword. He's he doesn't stun either. This one I don't. <laughs> this one I don't think I'm gonna be able to handle all by myself. You want me to help you then? Go ahead and swing, dude. Swing. Oh, please switch targets. I'm just gonna heal. <laughs> you picked the wrong side. <laughs> 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 Take the whole thing. experience and that's shared. Look at the drunkard's blade. Grandmaster weapon repair kit. So the drunkard blade is a 60 nine armor pen and it's crippling. So this is a very large sword, I think. Wait, I'm debating whether it is. That's the one where uh, when you hit people with it, it makes them drunk. Right. Oh, nice. It is a regular sword. Cool. So we're going to use this one up. It looks like a fell shrine, actually, the, or the fel, Felcata. Very similar blade style. Hit, hit me with it. Let's see if it makes me drop. Oh, it probably won't with you. Nope. Yeah, we're not in PvP, so. <laughs> All right, so that is location number one. And, hmm. Actually, we might as well just run north and go to the Brute. I think it was the Brute, wasn't it? It's right straight down this way. Oh, wow. I think we've already been through here. Not worried about those. I haven't made any weapons, so everything I've got is stuff I've found. That's how it should be in the uh, starting up the character. Oh, yeah. I built uh, built two pieces of armor. All the rest of it I found, too. Uh, there's a baby dragon over here. Oh, wait. Where am I getting corruption from? Oh, there we go. If we can get out of the corruption area, I will take on this dragon. Whoa, there's a couple of them. the other one was. I could get some leather and dragon stuff if I wanted to, but not worried about that. Oh, he actually 
He does do a lot of damage though. His one hit was 122. And that's with a 51% damage reduction. starting to get darker okay yeah I am going to go ahead and lose this sword it was almost dead An unreasonable dragon roar that I just heard. Well, the dragons roar around here all the time. Right. There he is. So hard to see. Nope. Oh, didn't lead him enough. I understand right to a, the uh, loot table for brute is very small. Right. You can either get like the predatory blade or the uh, armor, which is uh, the gloves or the helmet. And that's all he got, if I remember. I want to say there was a third item. Oh, this guy's gonna hurt. Good enough, you need, you need to jump in. I want to try to get just a oh. little bit. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, yeah, go ahead and jump no. in. <laughs> yeah, he's got a new, what, almost 5,000 hit points. And he hurts. Like, you just barely yes. take me, we'll take me down to 50. Okay. Don't make down. me hurt you, Wonder. <laughs> These are always going to do with, with friends. I don't know. And I'm even using a better weapon. I'm curious how it is I'm putting heat on a lot dead creature. <laughs> Interesting what you have. Is it regular weed? Yeah. You missed the wrong fight! Helmet of the Brute. Yep. This so is a thought. Medium and plus six weapon. More fragments. Grand Master Armor Repair Kit. More hardened steel. Although the Silent Legion Gauntlets, that's a good start for me to get to my favorite armor. <laughs> we got Silent Legion Gauntlets off of him too? No, I got that off of... Um, Oh, the Silent Legion dude that fought you fought earlier? Yeah, the hero of the Relic Hunter that I that we fought. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. That food ran out. Let's go ahead and use an Elixir of Freedom. Alright, so that's one. So we got the Brute's armor here. We're going to run over to the... This is so hard to see. Bring that up. So we'll run over to the aviary, which is... No, not the aviary. You want to hit the... Uh... No, that's way over here. Oh, no, there's uh, actually there's somebody real close the skill to boss. Yeah. yeah, you run over here and hit the skeleton boss. Yeah, there's a couple. We've got... You gotta hit that chest up at that cubby hole, too. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the one up here. So if we go up here, oh. you need to go ahead and chest out. Take care of these little skeleton guys right here. If I can get up here, come on. It won't let me climb this ledge here. There it goes. What the heck? 
it just bounced me off of this thing. And that was weird. Yeah. Let's go ahead and drink some water. Maximum stamina. Couple little ledges you can hang on to on the way up, so that's a good thing. Um, I wasn't actually holding the space bar, so that was kind of probably why I let go of that spot. There we go. That's what I was for. Oops. Oh, this could not work. Yeah, you made it. Am I on the wrong one? I don't know where you're at. I am. I want to be on that one over there, isn't it? Yeah. I think the what you're thinking of is we we go hit that skeleton boss after the aviary. Because we done passed it. You should have hit it before the brute. No, I think on this ah. the wrong spot. I could have sworn this is where we were supposed to go. Yeah, you should went straight down the no, hill there to. Nope, I see him. They're above uh, the red mother. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, we'll just say not today. <laughs> yeah, you way backtracked. I think than where you should have been. I, I went up too early. Come on, let me get up here. And it won't let you jump over an yeah. edge. It will actually get you to bounce off the edge. <gasps> yeah, see, I'm on the wrong one. I want to be over there. Okay, I guess we're dropping. That was yeah. practice. That's what that was. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, I moved my weapon. I've done that before. that you want it she should be doing this one that's right here yeah that one too but there's one above here so you're trying to climb up to that one so yeah i wanted to get up here i kind of forgot what whack found up here but i didn't know the guy was up here and... so as long as i have the stamina to do it. I may have to climb back down now. Oh, no. Here's the best way to do it. Climb over, then climb sideways. Also, don't have stuff in your hands. This is going to be a tough one right here. Whoa. Did I hit V? I did. I hit V. That's not good. <laughs> don't, don't fall. You'll surely die. Oh, yeah. Um. I might hit the ledge right here. But I don't know is if I have anything that... That's what... Um, oh, there's a ledge Are there? You? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, or I you just land on me. I laid it on your head. That was good. There we go. <laughs> there you go. It, it just crawled right over it, so I didn't even see that ledge there. No, 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 no. There you go. No, no. Right. No. Grab the edge. <laughs> that is the one problem. Oh, good. I'll out right there. No. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to take this ledge right. Uh-oh. Oh, the ledge to the inside. There's no ledge. 
<laughs> oh, good, I didn't die. Let's get some food. <laughs> Did you make it up here? No, but good news is I didn't uh, die. I know exactly where I need to get to. It is a tough one. <laughs> When you uh, climb that and you get to that ledge that we're at, follow the ledge to the inside. There's a center column between that little tower and the main walkway that you can just climb up. Yeah, straight that's up. exactly where I was heading. Yeah, okay, yep. There, yeah, there you are. There we go. Now this guy right here. He is the watcher. And he does not sunder either. When he hit, oh. if he hits you with that thing, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it. Yeah, he'll, um, he doesn't stagger. Yeah. Ooh. Why did my He's quick. Yeah, he's, he's got quick. a good recovery on that thing. Yeah, he's good. Oh. Oh. He did it now. There goes my throw. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I've never gone after these guys, especially. War Mammoth Boots. Carry capacity, oh, heavy armor. I th think I might have found some new boots to wear. Yeah, I'll say. Grandmaster Weapon Repair Kit. Yay. And some leather, of course. I'll take the leather. So, yeah, the uh, War Mammoth Boots give uh, plus 45 to carry. And they're 156 they armor. Did they also give uh, warmth in the tool? No, unfortunately. Wait. Oh, yeah, they do give a little cold. So. They do give some cold resistance. Yep, got two two levels of that. So, Carter, you only fought him once? Oh, you used sorcery to get up there, yeah. What, well, like Ice Bridge or <laughs> not, something? Not a fun fight. Uh, let's see. Let's head down and find the other. He's down there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, eliminate this one. Nope, this one. Let's get rid of the, the chat messages there. I am going right here. I found a ledge. <laughs> Thought you were going to die for a bit there. Almost. I grabbed the ledge just in time. There's Warmaker Cloud right there.
All right, so then, yeah, we're in, on the right spot here. Oh, they went that way. Not things I'm interested in. All right. There is a chest. We're going to go ahead and grab that first. Most people don't realize it's here. Run right past this lore stone over here. Work your way up. Let's see if I went up far enough. There it is. Anything good? Grandmaster Weapon Repair Kit. Moon Deep Red Dye. That's right. Our armor is going to be stained with the blood of our enemies. If they had any. These skeletons don't have any. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, eat a little bit here. This stuff's so hard to eat. There we go. Maximum health. Hey. All right. Just a quick check of the streams, make sure everything's still running. Looks like everything is. So we got one skeleton on the right side. There might be two actually. Yeah, there's two. The archers that always get you on this one. Yeah. Boy, he's messing you oh, up. if he didn't hit me. If he didn't hit me. Whoa, I rolled right into his swings. <laughs> oh, now he comes for me. What? Anything. So that guy caused me to level up, so that was good. Oh. He turned. Here we got commander's chest plate, medium armor. Oh, incoming. And Grandmaster. <laughs> there we go. Right. What was he saying you got? Yeah, there were two on the right. The bat will be the next one. So. Yeah, let me check this chest real quick. Grab that Grandmaster yeah. Weapon Repair Kit. So I got a lot of those. I didn't hear what you got off the boss. So off the boss, besides the Grandmaster Weapon Repair Kit, which I'm going to get rid of the basic ones now. I also got the Commander Chest Plate. So oh, that's 250, 250 health or armor, uh, medium um, armor, and it's a plus 60 health. Oh, oh that's good. Still need to carry capacity. <laughs> but yeah, let's find out. If I can put that on. Well, that war mammoth boots eh. gave a lot of 
lot of uh, carry capacity. Yeah, and if I ditch that, there we go. Nice. I have upgraded armor. Let's see. That's... You know what? Let's see. Too bad you couldn't get the uh, commander's helmet that gives gas protection. There we go. I just made that heavy uh, pauldron, but I am now wearing more stuff I found. <laughs> All right, now we will head over to the bat. And we will avoid as much corruption as possible. I'm only reduced by 1% right now, which is interesting. Hey! My claws are sharp! Are yours? You picked the wrong! She sounds like an old lady. I think your outfit swatch looks pretty snazzy now. Right. I've actually never worn any of this stuff before. So there is the first. It's one reason I don't like the news or the way the skeletons fight because those combos are bad. <laughs> okay, here we go. <sighs> yeah, it does put the drunk on him. Ooh. forgot about him. Yeah, we'll go to the bat first and then down there. That gives a lot of corruption. Not if you draw him. to draw him out so that we don't go get corrupted. Plus you get a few shots on him before he shows up. There he is. So now we're over here where the Avery is. Aviary? Avery? Avery? What do you want to call it? <laughs> bird, bird place. All right. The big giant bird cage. Yeah, the bad place, like just in Jurassic Park, you know, it's always the bad stuff. Hey, you coming? There he goes. Or... He said, he said like, Jurassic Park, so when you pull it out, the uh, term that says, We have an asset out of containment! Yes, he is now just out like of containment. Just like in Hit points. <laughs> Nothing like a drunk bat. Oh, you got full stacks of drunk on him. Uh, couldn't roll. Good, I guess. Nothing. 
We did not get any of the weapons, so he has a chance of not giving you anything good. <laughs> no, no riptide, no. Nope. Junk. Yeah, riptide is actually one of the hardest ones I've seen in here. From him. It's like... I think any of the stuff that he drops is hard to get off of him. Over to this guy. Yeah, Riptide's a great one from him because, you know, you want to be able to. Makes it easier to go to the sunken city. Exactly. Or Dagon. What is it called? What is it actually called? Dagon's dungeon, right? Yeah, the sunken city. But yeah, the dungeon itself is. Uh, was it the Eye of Dagon? No. It doesn't say the Eye of Dagon, but that's not it. You're gonna hit this chest under here. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Usually this chest gets some pretty good stuff. Yeah, there's a few hidden around. You are right, a Grandmaster Weapon Repair Kit again. Light green die. I'll grab a couple. Throw it out later. What's this one? Parapelt. At least my uh, damage reduction is now at 63%. Nice. 15 tries farming that back for the Riptide? Yeah. <laughs> we did that one day. There was like five or six of us were just farming them, and it took... I don't think we found them at all that first night. This is going to be fun. How many are we going to pick up? Six. Twelve. <laughs> Yeah, here they all come. Here they come. <laughs> Gotta do a lot of rolling with these guys to get out of their path because they do that one right after the other move. Yep. You okay? Yeah. All right, there. Yeah, come on. Got one coming. On. No, let me get. Oh, there we go. My Whoa. turn. My turn. My turn. If we take turns, this works. You don't want to get trouble here. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Surprised. There he comes. Let's get a little distance there. This guy, like everybody else, he is not going to stagger. possible to deal with him at a lower level, but it is not easy. Yeah, always make sure you throw down a big roll before you take him on. Really, before you take on anything. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! They're what my thralls, they are good. Wait 
for his last attack and then move in, get like two, three hits and then back off. Corrupted axe. Not necessarily good for me to carry. <laughs> yeah, unless you got something to cancel corruption, right? Right. Good thrall weapon, though. Right. No, absolutely. Good. So we're gonna run over here. Gold. Now he does have a hardened steel dory in here. A prying kit. Hard and steel, star. You know, I don't have any star metal. I'm gonna grab star metal. And some other stuff. I haven't seen a pairing kit in a chest before. Right, that's. That's an odd one. Um, yeah, so. There's only one left to go after. Dragon. Yeah, that and um, just realizing since I'm here. A snake. No, I should go grab the uh, archivist. Oh, yeah. And on our community server, there is somebody else I'm going to go and talk with here very shortly. I am going to just run right through, grab the archivist. One question I have is, is, is the audio level for the game good in the broadcasts? Uh, Red Mother will be right after this little, uh, we'll say break. <laughs> and as you run in here, you will get past the corruption. And there we are. Now, wait, I do have some. Reinforced stool. Whirlwind blades. Grave digger. The table leg. The glasser, and I'm out of power fragments. <laughs> and some All stupid junk. scroll. Serpent man statues, reinforced stool, the whirlwind blades, that'd be the only thing, and gravedigger. And a table leg. I'm not familiar with some of those. And the scroll, so the knowledge shall be ours. Yep. So yeah, I use power fragments. Now it isn't, it is a linear progression, not a uh, random anymore, so. Do not be afraid, bonded yeah. one. I am just a shadow, a whisper of what once was. Before the fall, you hear what he says, you can check out one of my other videos there. Pillars of black stole to the sky. <laughs> Before I go running up there, let's get some stamina. The table leg's like a hammer? Oh, okay. The game is a little loud during combat. Yeah, it usually is. <laughs> but all right, I will uh, attempt to not scream so, or 
not talk too much during combat. So on the community server, if you follow these lights here, and I know I gotta... Oh, there we go. Thank you. Follow these lights when you come out of there. Get out of the corruption zone. Here we find Samantha surveying the area up here. She is quite literally just outside of the reach of the corruption. So she is our community server witch. She is great for teleporting us around. So she can take us back to the welcome keep if you want to, dragon fire keep. Or we can just say, nah, we're gonna carry on from right here. And she is the best way to travel around here because she will take you back to the keep. And when you go talk to her at the keep, she'll take you to anywhere that you have already found her. And she is located near every obelisk. Then you don't have to build a map room and we don't have to maintain them. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this area. Get past the corruption. Yeah, um, you don't actually have to run up to the obelisk and attune to him. You can just find her. And uh, then she gives you the ability to jump back to the welcome center or come back here. Or any obelisk, for that matter. Yep. Oops. Like I said, that does help the server a little bit. You don't need map rooms everywhere and you don't have to maintain those. Well, there's a couple skeletons coming. Four of them I didn't even see before. Oh, he's resting at the welcome center. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Should we take a look at our attributes? Hmm. I seem to run out of stamina. Okay, you made him a couple days ago. Good. We're uh, getting more and more people on the server. It's good to see. Hmm. Wonder who's responding here. We do have the whole bunch of areas in here that I've been working on. Oh Sliding attacks. We have the Welcome Center. We do have a fortress in in the north, just south of uh, New Asgareth. Community areas. Okay, I'm going this way. Oh, I'm gonna need food now. Starving, starving. Nah. Yeah, that was most of my food right there. Most of what I needed. 
All right. I think I'm going to avoid. Who just made noises? Okay, I'm going over this way. Avoiding those guys. I'm going to go up here and kill this brute again. Yeah, everything's respawning. We actually would have time. as well and then also you want that helm because i already have one hmm. yeah i'll take it yeah and then um 50 cal is sitting at one of the tables as well take a look and see what he has to say he will uh he'll tell you something he wants you to do so when you find him have some fun with that. Okay, the Red Mother is further to this side. It did level is it this again. One? This one is the uh, Red Mother, or is this one the Green Dragon? Oh, nope, this is the Red Mother. There she is. I could do enough damage up here. Watch out for the flames if she uh, does that flame. You didn't die, did you? with her right here. Gotcha, good bow. I don't know if I can clip that. Yeah, she flew huge distance. Gotcha, the uh, reach of the red mother there. 
She's way over here on my screen. <laughs> oh, really? No kidding? <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's weird. Uh, I'm getting corruption. Yeah, she, did you see her? Because I saw her. She flew way up there. She didn't fly that far for me. Uh, She's she, on the steps. I know. She cleared the top level of these places here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That was, that was like, awesome. I picked up Did you, bone does there. she uh, give a key? Are you able to hatch it her to get a key? I don't I, remember. I was just pulling it out. I got a head and dragon bones and leather. I am over encumbered. I got some food. Good like, loot over in these chests over here for you. Yeah, I really did not get very much. No key from her. No key? I thought she dropped a key. Oh wait, she does have that back here. Yeah, there's the chest here. Right, the best thing since flying rhinos. Got this little chest back here. Grab that. Got a power fragment. Blood red dye. Here. As a postman, it, it uh, reminds me of my uh, favorite uh, little uh, saying. <gasps> a sickle. I couldn't do anything with that. What's that? You can... You can put wings on a pig, but that don't make it an eagle. Right. That might get rid of that leather. There we go. I am lightly corrupted. Can I stop gaining? There we go. Well, there. That was a that was a run. <laughs> Probably not totally possible at level 30 but with a little help from a friend yep yep, yep. you're welcome I, th I think he got you some good gear out of that it did get some good stuff helmet chest plate boots that's some good gear and the uh, reach of the red mother bow oh my gosh oh yeah you're all, you're all set to go north now while we're here gonna run out the side Toward, um, Sepamaru? Sepamaru and the, uh, right, you know what I'm talking about. The stinky land, uh, the stinky pond over there. Um, everybody knows what I'm talking about. Right. Battered Springs. That's it. Slip in my mind for some reason. <laughs> yeah, this time of the year is, uh, has the bane of my existence, though. I should mm -hmm. have one. I'm gonna have one right now. I have Cadbury Cream Eggs. If nobody knows what those are, run to Walmart real quick and find them before they're out. They will take them off the shelf on Saturday. Hmm, <laughs> chocolate and sugar goodness. <laughs> you think they're gross? Yeah. They're totally against my diet, <laughs> but it's Easter time. My, uh, my bearer thrall is pretty close to, uh, 15k health. I'm so sad that they're going to nerf him for chapter four. I'm like, how bad are they going to nerf him? Right. Yeah, we'll see. All right, for anybody that didn't see that while I was walking through. These are the community arenas. Right, yeah, being diabetic, that would definitely be an issue. Uh, no, we're not going to do PvP. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if these are. Hmm, those need to be changed so they can open. But yeah, here's, open. A, here's a little gladiator arena. So we can do PvP or spawn in the Red Mother and whoever's in the middle of fights. That pretty nice. It's pretty nice, I think. Yeah, it's a pretty nice build. I spent some time building that. Got 
some statues up top too, decorating around. Little spot, you can get some water. Let's go ahead and get some water. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fill up my water skin. A couple guards around here. I think they're all here. <laughs> then we have our jousting arena. This is where the uh, player versus player initiates is right here at this bar. And then if you line up your horse here and you start your charge and your other opponent comes down this side, by the time you hit the center, you both should be right about here. Oh. Oh. And th these don't get in the way, but I couldn't sink them any further. Mm. And we got a observe or an observation deck over there for guests and over here for Dragonfire and Angel up there. You can always come to the tavern. Get a little bit of food, a little bit of drink. You know what you need to do? Put you in some tavern things in here to make uh, some NPCs come sitting in the uh, stands. Right now that they've actually implemented that, that would yeah. be that would be kind of cool. Welcome. Oh. Medieval times. Lots of lots of seating. Uh, nope. Oh, you can also go in to the sides here. You can head on up. These are like the cheap seats. <laughs> Little party room up here. Someday they're going to make it to where uh, your uh, thralls can ride horses. That would be neat. Yeah, I mean, they went through this whole thing to make lances and everything, and, you know, they're not, they never did any more. Right, then they're only for players. Yeah. I get a feeling they're going to do something about it. No, eventually. Right. I was like, oh, let's expand the uh, add horse combat back in. <laughs> yes, Daniel. Yes, I do. <laughs> he asked if we had one for horse combat when we were in the arena. So I stepped, when we stepped outside, I was like, yep, there it is. It does take a little bit to load. But once it does, it usually does pretty well. Gonna sneak around over here. We're not gonna fight the boss scorpion because, you know, hey. I'm only a level 34 right now, which isn't bad. That means I've gained almost five levels. So we're gonna hand on over to Shattered Springs Obelisk. Also, in a near future, uh, I am going to have a special episode with Jake and taking a look at some of his creations here. He was a uh, very generous uh, individual and donated heftily to our community server as well. I'm going to speak with Samantha here while we're sitting here. So, Jake, I do appreciate that very much, and this has uh, definitely been fun. No problem. Um, there is a way for everybody to help out if you would like to. We have different abilities. Uh, you can head down into the description below and you can uh, give us a one-time donation or a tip. You could also join our community with a subscription and all the money is helping out with these servers that I am running. We're going to go ahead and go to the keep. <laughs> 
So I'm heading over to the keep there, Jake. Yeah. Okay. Give that a second of uh, load up. So when you join our server, this is the first place you will actually come to if you follow the signs. Speak to Gargoyle when you come on in. And at the time I built this, which was, I think we're getting close to a year now. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty much what was available in the uh, building arena. The All the parts that you could use to build. You can't so, even get that DLC now, can you? Uh, only if it's seen it in a long time. Sorry about that one. Um, yeah, only if it's available on the store. Uh, it comes and goes. I think I've seen it once or twice. We've got yep, nobody sitting in there, but we do have a couple NPCs working around out here. A couple horses, a couple other things out there. A little water here if you need some. Let's run inside here. So for anybody new, come on in here. Speak with Dragonfire and Angel. We have our lively bar running here. Now, interesting point, anybody without a weapon that is in here will be hireable as far as the moving characters, I should say. Uh, let's see if we find one. They all have weapons. Yeah, I find it hard to find anybody to hire in the taverns. And my I never, never find. Yeah, I actually, believe it or not, I found Gullo the Spearden. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he is up at the fortress. So and here's Samantha. So if you speak with her when you're here, after you've met the archivist, because she'll tell you, go find him. And you've talked to her in a couple different places. So apparently I found her three times. So I found her at the Dregs, War Makers, and the Unnamed City. So we can talk to her and tell her where we want to go, and she'll send us there. The Carter said, can you guys ever find anyone at mine yet? I haven't found any named people in any of the taverns yet. Oh, no, I think you only, got lucky. Yeah, Nodra said only three per clan bar. Total for the clan. So you three only, named you can only hire three people is that what you're saying yeah i haven't looked too much at your place there Car carter uh see who might be left at your bar you get a lot of t4s in your tavern on the wax server right most are not hireable right so no over on twitch is saying yes only three hireables will appear for each clan at any time, no matter how many bars you have. Is it dependent on how many people you have in your clan also? Uh, per bar, I think is what he's saying. Per bar. And then here's 50 kill. So the, since we're not finding any hireable ones here, they might be up at the fortress instead of the keep down here. Uh... And you can always have fun. We can bet here. At, oh, well, I don't know if I have that much. Nope, I have five bronze. Let's go two bronze. Hmm, I'm gonna stay. I will. I have one. Uh -huh. Oh, also, do a slash and a payday. You get paid slash kit as well for a little bonus pay. Select it, select it, purchase. Strange. When you uh, did that, it, uh, it also gave me five bronze. Did it give it to you, or did you just did it say, hey, you earned it because you've been in for a whole day? No, it just says, as soon as you uh, did payday, it also, you have been credited five bronze. Interesting. So you just made me five bronze. So that would mean, yes, yeah, so now I have 17. So yeah, I, it worked for me as well. Interesting. I wonder if I triggered a payday, which you can only do once per 24 hour period. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your thralls will also travel around, so they will be upstairs. So these guys all have weapons. Uh, 
Hey, this guy doesn't have a weapon. Oh, wait. Yeah, he does. On his head. And she's got one. When they're seated, it's really hard to see him. And yeah, you can speak with Jeeves up here, too. The curator. Alright, I'm carrying a pick. I don't need to carry that. Oh, I carry that on my back? Ooh. So I got a sickle, so now I can gather stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out the bow. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, so it doesn't, yeah, no, Drew said, it doesn't really seem to matter how many people you have, it's just three, so. All right. See, my community's working there. Carter's offering up a thrall if we need a quick one or some help. Uh, actually, yeah, let me show you. So if we come outside of here, Carter did set up a little, little hut over here. So if you don't find one that you can hire at the keep, you can. I think I gotta work my way around this rock. Which direction around did you go? Uh, headed east. There it is. So here, uh, let's see. There we go, Exile 3. So yeah, you have an actual Exile 3 sitting here. Who's this guy with no shirt on? Oh, he's got a club. Whoop, there's a fighter 2. She looks better than a 3. Couple other lazy guys just hanging around. Nah, got a couple. Interesting little tavern. Yeah, a little shack on the river. Grumpy oh, he spot. used the uh, the battle pass uh, veneer bar. Yep, that's neat. Yeah, it kind of fits with this, you know, kind of tier one look. You'll have to do a pub crawl sometime. Right. I, I got like two pubs just about in my own little town. <laughs> yeah, actually, I like the way you set yours up. The uh, salty pig. So we have a. Ooh, you can go to the den and north Stormwatch. So if you really, really wanted to go north and you were low level. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, there's a question. Is Stormwatch still up there? <laughs> oh, wait, it'd have to be because uh, it's available. All right. Don't peace bar. Yep. I got people in the way. All right. So this is where I'm going to call it for tonight for some community time so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a short break and then i'm gonna come back and if anybody on the server hasn't gone through their challenges and would like to hop in meet me and we will uh we'll see about getting you through those challenges april 2nd is when the next chapter comes out so we want to get that all done ahead of time uh, we can run through anything you have your multiplier is on right now, so we can get you as many points as possible. Start with the rares and legendaries, and then keep doing those until you kind of can't do anymore. And then uh, maybe we do this again so we can try to get people rolling through those. Because uh, if I hit N and look at my challenges, uh, on this account, I've only gotten to two. So I got to visit the den, the small place, the small treasure craft weapons, stuff like that, so we can go through these rares and uncommons and legendaries if you have any. So if you're interested in doing that, hop on the server and I will be back 
in about 15 20 minutes let's say yeah maybe a little longer it all depends we gotta do a couple little things and uh we'll see what we can do to help you guys out and with that we are going to say good night and thank everybody for coming around and go ahead and hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't done so already also don't forget to hit the follow button on twitch if you are over there so we'd like to thank you for allowing me to share my playtime with you